Well, hi everyone. I'm Teddy Abrams, and I'm the music director of the Brit Festival Orchestra. And I'm Caroline Shaw. I'm a composer, musician, and writing a big piece for this summer at the Brit Festival. And we're sitting here at the Brit venue uh, early here in this this spring day, and we're surrounded by the woodlands, yep. which will be the actual stage and and concert hall for this summer's project which i am so excited about this is this is many years in the making and uh to be here with you uh, such an incredible composer and, and musician and thinker and here we are in the process of dreaming up this this project i'm really excited to be here too we have we've been talking about it for a long time and this is um this week is kind of my uh deep focus, deep creative week to make this piece, um, to kind of re-experience the, the trails, um, kind of really thinking about, as you said, kind of what a stage means and what it, what it means to make music in, in a different place like that. Well, the, the interesting thing about this project is that, yeah, we have been talking about it for a long time and it's, it's evolved from the orchestras or uh, the Crater Lake thing that we did. We took the whole orchestra and all these musicians up to Crater Lake and we realized mm -hmm. this connection between music and nature is something we wanted to explore because we are quite literally within the natural environment, even at our normal stage and venue. Well, you want to tell us kind of like what you're <laughs> envisioning for it because this is, for somebody that's never heard about this project at all, yeah. it's part, a pretty radical departure from what they're used sure. to at the Brand Braid Orchestra. Sort of our usual questions about, you know, what, what, is, what, what am I going to experience it? in this concert? Where do I go? How do I get there? Exactly. Um, all those questions kind of come up. I think when you arrive, you'll start at the trailhead and we have several, we have kind of a, a map of different areas where musicians will be. So you can choose to know exactly where that is or not. Um, I really like the idea of walking along the trails and turning a corner and coming upon a clarinetist, which may or may not be Teddy Abrams, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or a trumpet player, or a solo cellist, or a trio of singers, or a string quartet, um, playing a fragment of music that is actually part of a larger piece, which um, ultimately will exist on the, um, on the stage in the pavilion. Um, for me, I'm really curious about the relationship of um, music and musicians, live musicians, to the woodlands, to this space, um, and the relationship of music to nature, and also the, the relationship of the pavilion to the woodlands, and thinking about um, how we experience uh, music, both as musicians and as listeners. This is something I find so fascinating about it, that, that I didn't originally know you were going in that direction, which I love, <laughs> that, that it is this experience where you have a like a fully conceived almost like a puzzle that's done that you can experience on the stage which is the last stop on the of of, of the trail system yeah. the, the literal brit stage because our stage is basically connected to the trails themselves but then all the puzzle pieces you'll discover along the way so it's it's almost like you're going to get pieces of this jigsaw puzzle, but only at the end will you see them all come together. Is that sort of how you're I, conceiving right it? Right now, that's the, <laughs> that is sort of the framework that I have. How strict that puzzle will be when it's on the stage, I'm not quite sure. I do still like the idea of something that is still pivoting and moving and being a little bit different every time, even on the stage, but it, it will be more and more coming together. This is kind of an unusual project, right? This is, this mm -hmm. is not your everyday kind of commission. No, um, I've never done anything like this before. Did you did you hesitate when when we originally talked with you about it? This seemed like it was you know too out there, wacky, or was this something you just said absolutely? I mean, it, there's there are two there are sort of two things in my head. One is like absolutely yes, I definitely want to do this, and the other part is I've never done this before. I can I can I do what I want to imagine in my head? And I mean, I'm so grateful to you and to everybody at the Brit Festival for just being so um, supportive and, and talking through this. I mean, it, this, this idea uh, which came from you and from the festival and from the growing out of the Crater Lake project is um, so beautiful and so brilliant. And I'm just, I feel lucky to get to be a part of it. Well, we're, we're so excited 